Let's do a reminder. So first thing we're solving for this, first thing we want to do is replace our f of x with 0. Right? Then we have x to the fourth minus 6x cubed minus 24x squared. Well, the next thing we want to do is, if you guys remember my steps, because I was pretty explicit in these steps, first thing, always set your, um, po we always talk about quadratics, so always set it equal to 0. Well, polynomials is going to be the same case. Make sure you always set it equal to 0. Then the next step was to factor out any common terms. Yes, Christian, do you have a fun comment? Oh, OK. Christian, did you have a common term that you wanted me to factor out? No, I was just going to say you go to x squared. You can factor out an x squared. That's right. <laughs> so since they all share an x squared, what you can do is you can factor it out, which is the same thing as like dividing out an x squared. Now, please follow me if you're having trouble following along with how I factored this out. And don't feel bad if you don't understand. Just let me know, and I'll re-explain. Does anybody not understand how I divided out the x squared? Or would like me just to elaborate or further explain it in a better way? Yes? How did you uh, factor out the x squared and your 6x squared? OK. Well, let's look at it. So basically, when you're factoring, factoring out an x, um, that's x cubed. When you're factoring out an x squared, if you guys remember, in Algebra 2, when we're dividing exponents, you subtract the powers, right? So it's really x to the first power. But do we really write x to the first power? No, we just write it as x, correct? So remember, when you're, that's basically what you're doing is you're dividing out the powers. So when you're factoring out, it's, think, it's dividing. You're dividing it out. So that's basically how we got that. Does that make sense? OK. So now um, we have this. Um, now, we could do this in a couple different ways. I can still factor this down, which you guys should already know. Right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I would prefer you could either do this in a couple different ways. You could write this. You guys can see we have multiplicity 1, multiplicity 1, right? I could also rewrite um, x squared as x minus 0 squared, because what's really x minus 0? x, right? Or I could write x plus 0. It doesn't really matter. But do you guys see how this has a multiplicity of 2? That's really important because how many, how many factors do we have here? 3. three. So 3 factors is going to produce 3 x-intercepts, right? But the degree tells me what? 4, right? However, since I have a multiplicity of 2, and then the other two factors, that's 2, 3, and 4, which gives me 4 solutions. So that multiplicity allows me to add up to 4. Does that make sense? Because I only have three zeros, or three x-intercepts. But the multiplicity counts twice, because it's the same zero twice. So then I just set these equal to 0. x squared equals 0. x minus 9 equals 0. x plus 3 equals 0. And then you go ahead and solve x equals 0, x equals 9, x equals negative 3. You can write in a solution set. And, but just remember, guys. There's only three x-intercepts, but there's four zeros. But this 0 had a multiplicity equal to 2. So that's what allows us to, to still go by our definition of four solutions. Okay? 